Hi, in this quick video I'm going to show you how the professionals reduce the risk that they face in the stock market. And this is what they do every day. This is a strategy that you can learn that will dramatically reduce the risk that you face in the market. It's an easy stock option strategy. Now some people will tell you that stock options are complicated, but I'll tell you exactly what you need to do. Three quick steps and you are dramatically reducing the risk in the market. If you apply this strategy, it dramatically reduces the risk that you face over the corresponding stock position. So if your choices are buy some stock or use a strategy, this strategy will make you more money, sometimes more money if there's an uptrend in the stock. You'll definitely lose less money if there's a downtrend. And what's key to me is it provides excellent crash protection. So if there's some bad news out of Europe or Iran or the jobs perspective or the economy or the election or Congress or whatever, and the market reacts violently, if you have this strategy, you will minimize the amount that you will lose in the market. Your neighbor can lose 40% in a crash, you'll lose 10% applying this strategy over the corresponding stock position. Let's see how it works. So here are the two choices. You can either buy 100 shares of IBM at $189 and change, or you can buy one July 170 call option for $27.40. So these are the options. If, if you buy the stock, you're out $18,945 or if you buy the option it only costs you $2,740 and what's key is you've got $16,000 sitting in cash in the bank so you're not gonna if the market crashes you're not losing that 16000 it's sitting there in cash and that's part of the trade so let's see how uh, this strategy would fare if the stock moves. If the stock moves 20%, you'll gain $3,700 on the stock. The option price will go up to $57, so that's a gain of about $3,600 in the stock. So you make about the same profit with the, the option strategy. If the stock only goes up 10%, you're making 1895, which is 10 percent of the uh, amount that you invested. The option will rise in price to about forty dollars, so you'll make a little bit more. Uh, you'll make uh, about the same 10 percent, uh, maybe closer to uh, 10 and a little bit. If the stock stays flat, you'll lose a few dollars, and we we can talk about ways to fix that. But here's where it's most interesting, I think. If you lose 10%, if the stock market goes down 10%, or more specifically, if IBM goes down 10%, you'll lose the 10% on IBM, but in with the option strategy, you'll only lose $864. So that's only losing 4.5%. So instead of losing the 10% on the stock, you only lose 4.5% using the risk reduction strategy. Whoops. If the stock goes down 20%, you're losing a bunch of money, $3,789. But with the option strategy, you only lose about 8%. And the most, if, if the stock market goes way down, the most you can possibly lose is about 14%. And the reason that's true is you've got this sixteen hundred dollars in cash sitting in the bank that you'll never lose but you will gain get all of the gains on, on if the stock does move up so that's the, that's the strategy so here are the rules again uh, select the right option to buy you would go out and pick an option that has 150 days till expiration it could be a little bit less, it could definitely be more, but we're going to target 150 days as a, as a good option. We're going to buy the option with a delta closest to 0 0.70, and I'll show you what that means. Delta is the rate of change of an option, and we're going to pick one that uh, is around 0.7. And we'll use a limit order whenever we buy these options. So here's a 
stock option chain for IBM and we see that uh, IBM is currently trade uh, this is uh, uh, mid-December 2011 and we'll go out 150 days we could have gone to April which is at 140 but I thought that was a little bit low so the next available option was uh, July and that's fine so we'll go out more than 150 days and we'll find the option with the delta of 0.7 let's uh, blow this up a little bit and we're we're going to be on the call side of the option chain and we'll look at the delta column and we see the delta we see one of 0.71 and so we'll look across here to the to see which option that is and that's the July 170 option so that's the option we're going to buy and when we buy an option uh, we buy it the the ask price that's the the retail price think of this as a car dealer selling this option to you he has the sticker price of twenty seven dollars and forty five cents but we know that he bought this option himself for twenty seven dollars and twenty five cents uh, so if he's buying an option for twenty seven twenty five and selling it for twenty cents more that's his profit well just like with uh, buying a car you don't have to take the sticker price so we're going to go in here we're going to go in between those two prices and we're going to offer this car dealer twenty seven dollars and thirty five cents right in the middle he may or may not take that thirty five cents uh, you may have to go up to twenty seven forty but we're never going to say give me the market price which means I'll pay whatever you want to want to stick me with that's the market price we're going to shave a nickel or a dime off the ask price okay so here are the rules you go out 150 days you buy an option with the delta of 0 0.7 or 68 or 72 somewhere in the 0.7 range and you use a limit order to get between the bid and the ask you don't pay retail price for these options when do you close the trade well options decay in value and most of the decay is in the last 30 days so you don't want to own an option going into the last 30 days so when 30 days comes around you close the trade and you take your profit if there's a significant shift in IBM like they announce earnings and it's really bad and the stock stock is starting to turn down uh, depending on how you trade you may want to go ahead and close it if you want to hold IBM longer term then you can ignore that I wouldn't recommend holding it no matter what because you know you never know what's going to happen in the market but the good news is you have significant downside protection on this trade so if something bad happens to IBM uh, you won't get hurt as much as somebody who owns the stock but still you don't want to be in a position where you are wed to the stock that you're never going to sell it because if something significant happens uh, to IBM you may want to get out of the trade if the stock is rising that's what you want to happen if the stock is rising the delta on the option will gradually move up and you can look at it and you can see if the option rises up to the place where it's uh, beyond 90 uh, you've made a lot of money and that might be a good time to take some money off the table and you can close that option trade and if you still want to be in the in that stock you can start a new trade at uh, 0.7 with a new new delta of 0.7 the way we always start these trades so if this if the stock rises and takes your option with it up to 0.9 then you sell that and get a new option at 0.7 and you're essentially taking some money off the table but you're still back in the trade so that's uh, uh, some ways to close the trade if you like this short video and you'd like another great tip on how to dramatically improve your investing simply click on the getwealthdirection.com link below this video and I'll let you I'll send you another video and learn another great tip on great investing